Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at GCP support plans. So we got basic, standard, enhanced, premium, and then uh, just for cost, this one's free, this one's 29 bucks, this one's $500, and this one uh, you have to contact sales. So this is premium is your enterprise support, enhanced is your business support. When you're looking at AWS or Azure, they'll charge $100, but for some reason, GCP charges $500. I think that is not smart on their part because it really makes it hard for adoption when you are a small to medium company. Um, no idea why they did that, but that's just what it is, okay? So uh, you get unlimited access to support for standard, enhanced, and premium. They just mean like, I guess, to access the platform. I, I would think that it's unlimited across the board, but that's just how they display it there. For billing support, that's asking billing queries. You can use email, phone, or chat. Uh, in terms of response time, uh, standard is uh, priority two. So the, the the larger the number, the lower the priority, okay? Priority zero is, is the highest, right? So uh, you can expect a four hour response here and enhanced support, you're looking at one hour response and for premium, you're looking at 15 minute response times. Uh, but I mean, this varies based on, this is when you actually have a severe issue. Um, so it's not for general questions, okay? For technical support, uh, you can only do email with standard. Uh, and this is pretty common, like with either Azure or AWS, they'll call it, um, the standard will be just called developer support. So yeah, it's just emails. And you're looking at pretty much a 24 hour response time for that. Uh, and for technical support for enhanced and premium, you got case emails and phone. Uh, so that is a, um, I, I don't know if they have chat because I, I didn't really want to pay for $500 to find out if they had chat. Um, but I've definitely experienced chat via billing support and it's pretty darn good. Uh, but if you want to get on the phone for someone, you got to be paying a lot more. Uh, for eight out of five uh, response for high impact issues. Uh, so eight out of five means um, eight hours out of the day. So your standard at five days a week. So that's your standard work week, 24 seven. So anytime you want to ask a question, uh, they're gonna be able to help you out, okay? You only get English support and standard if you need Japanese, Mandarin, Chinese, or Korean. Uh, that's an enhanced support and premium support. And so some of the features that are found in both enhanced and premium is um, Active Assist Recommender API, third-party support, cloud support API, technical support escalation. Uh, for enhanced support, you get access, or you can purchase additionally technical account advisor, advisory service, TAS. Uh, in premium support, you get a TAM, so a technical account manager, and so that is a person that is assigned to you. You get event management service, oper operational health reviews, customer aware support, new product previews, training credits, and access to purchase mission critical services. So you can see there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, in terms of the exam, I didn't see a single question <laughs> about like what support plan does what, which I was shocked because when you do AWS and Azure, you see that kind of stuff there. Um, it's definitely on the exam guide, so I don't know why I didn't see any questions and people, all the other people I asked never saw those questions either. Maybe they'll add them in the future, so it's worth knowing this page, I think. Uh, in terms of all these feature sets, they're definitely not gonna ask you them on the exam, but we're gonna cover them anyway, all this stuff here, because I think that if you are learning fundamental knowledge, uh, and you want to convince your stakeholders, you know, why to use GCP. You want to know the full offering of support, okay?